What's up YouTube, JP here, and in this video we're looking at a dock for the Steam Deck. So, without further delay, let's dive in. So there's a few reasons why I wanted a dock for the Steam Deck. The first being, I like to capture footage. So having that HDMI out, going to my capture card, was a must for me. The second reason was I wanted a more elegant solution for when I'm charging my Steam Deck. Having the Steam Deck just lying on the desk or in the case is not an ideal solution that I wanted to carry on with. So looking at the official Steam Deck dock, it costs nearly £80 and it's made of plastic. So I went on Amazon to see if I could find a cheaper alternative and there's loads of them available. But I settled on one that only cost me £30. So that's a massive saving, less than half price. The one I went for is quite heavy. It's made of metal and it's very sturdy. I like the look of it. It's very minimalist and quite small, so taking it with you is quite easy. The only thing that I don't like about this dock is the lettering on the front, VVB. I'm going to see if there's a way that I can remove this. So let's take a closer look at the dock that I bought, starting off with an unboxing, and then we'll do a quick tour around the device. Now, as you can see, it's not a very big box because this is a really compact unit. There's not really much on the box, but on the back, it gives you a little bit of the features and where the ports are on the dock itself. So let's get this opened up and have a closer look. So inside the box, you get the dock itself and then the instructions. But I don't think we're gonna need these because it's pretty much plug and play. Now the first thing I noticed when I took it out of that bag is it's got some nice weight to it. It's quite heavy. And then as you can see, the cable that connects to the Steam Deck is permanently attached. On the back, we have power, HDMI out, and then we've got three USB 3 ports. On the right hand side, we've got that ethernet connection for network. And then at the bottom, we've got these rubber grippy pads and these are quite good. On the other side, there's nothing. And where the Steam Deck goes in, again, there's rubber pads. So I went ahead and put my Steam Deck on the dock and it's actually quite sturdy. Those rubber pads that are also on the bottom hold it in place quite nicely. And I don't think it was gonna accidentally fall out of it. The cable that connects to the Steam Deck can be quite annoying because it's just kind of looping and hanging at the back. I wish the cable was actually slightly shorter. So I've been using this dock for a couple of days now and I haven't experienced any issues at all. Not with the network, the HDMI or the USB. Capturing the footage on the Steam Deck has now become very easy and convenient. I also tested having a load of things connected all at once. A keyboard, a mouse, a USB thumbstick, an external USB hard drive, the ethernet, the HDMI, the power, everything all connected at once, never had any issues whatsoever. So apart from the lettering on the front that I said before that I didn't like, the only other thing that I would change is I'd change the network port to the back of the dock itself. I don't know why they have it sticking out the side and it looks kind of messy when you have it on your desk. So in summary, I recommend this dock and I'll leave a link in the description for the Amazon listing of where I got mine from. Now, if you do enjoy my content, please like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads. So in the comments below, I want you guys to let me know what you want to see on the Steam Deck. What videos would you like to see me doing going forward? I'm JP, you've been watching Alien Retro Gaming, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.